Hey guys, it's 50 Huzz bringing you a domination gameplay on grid and then I press select for my subscribers if you could see yourself in this lobby so you can tell your friends at school Hey guess what Jonathan, I was in 50 Huzz's domination gameplay, I'm famous <laughs> Not really but like if I was a subscriber and my favourite commentator did that just to give me some mini exposure I guess it'd be nice so that's why I do that when I'm playing with my subscribers as you should know by now when I'm playing domination I'm always with my subscribers I believe this is ground war the kill streaks are despite playing barbecue machine and the chopper gunner and yeah that should pop up on the screen soon but I am host and when you're host every gun is amazing in particular the G11 I think it's like a one burst or two burst kill it's tremendous it's amazing and obviously when you chopper gunner, when you host and you get the chopper gunner, it's ultimate rapage. And over here, I got caught. I was so busy focusing outside the window, I didn't check my back. Now that's one of the reasons why I use claymore, so I can always cover my back, but for some reason I didn't do that. And I'm also using flak jacket and hacker, which I think is a noob move. It's kind of silly because the whole point of flak jacket is to save you from like claymores. And whole point, the whole point of hacker is to make you aware of where the claymores are so they're basically cancelling each other out basically a waste of perk but I seem to do that every so often but what I want to quickly speak about today is the advantages and the disadvantages of sub boxes and I'm referring to the sub boxes which are on the channel page I'm not referring to your subscription boxes the channel if you go on your channel page you can basically have a list of other channels which you recommend a lot of people will either put their friends channels in there or their favorite commentators I kind of have a mixture of friends and my favorite commentators um, I happen to be at this moment in time in Jive Turkey's in his sub box um, I just want to say at this time because I don't know he might dash me out every so often people do that I've done that with others who don't watch my videos or who I don't speak to, there's no point in having randomers in your subscription box in your channel sub box but let me talk about advantages quickly now I'm in his sub box he's a big commentator, he's got a lot more subscribers so naturally he's gonna have a lot more traffic on his channel page compared to mine and someone might be just scrolling down on his page they might notice 50 Huzz uploads hardcore search they might think wow I need to check this dude out and check out that tri -tri -tri triple kill. Let me get that cinematic view, please. I get two triple kills in this game. So that dude might check out my channel page. He might check my videos, might enjoy it, and he might subscribe in the end. And that's all down to me being in Drive Turkey's sub box. Now that's advan that's a great advantage because let's face it, what are the actual routes? And check out this barbecue machine. Six months, and then after that, he gets me another two kills. So just make sure you keep an eye out on that kill feed it's amazing what this barbecue machine does on this hot day it's brilliant because let's face it what are the actual ways of finding good commentators you might come across maybe a link which may if which your favorite commentator might tweet out on Twitter or someone might like a video and you actually check it out but there is not a like there is no proper way of finding other commentators unless someone gives you a shout out or something like that so being in sub boxes definitely helps and that's one of the main advantages now one of the main disadvantages is being in someone's sub box especially a bigger channel is gonna lead to you receiving some inactive subscribers and here we go another tri -tri -tri triple kill so inactive subscribers I suffer from it your favorite commentator suffers from it everyone on YouTube suffers from it machinima I think are the biggest culprit they have basically over a million subscribers and they don't sure as hell get a, a million views per video but everyone gets inactive subscribers but sub boxes definitely lead to that um, because it's amazing how many people cannot actually subscribe correctly I've seen so many people subscribe to my channel I'll click on their channel and I'll see that they have subscribed to my entire sub box now I'm sure they didn't, they didn't mean to they only wanted to subscribe to me but if you want to subscribe to a channel go on that particular channel click the subscribe box the subscribe button once and then he's gonna ask you do you want to subscribe to the other people in, in that channel sub box you don't click subscribe again 
You only have to click it once in order to subscribe to that channel. You only click it again if you want to subscribe to all the other channels which that channel recommends, aka who's in the his sub box. And it's amazing. And that's what leads to obviously inactive subscribers. A lot of people complain about it. But I think they should remove the feature of recommending their sub box channels to subscribe because a lot of people are making a mistake to subscribe to the other to the sub box. And that's getting all confusing. I'm confusing myself, so I'm pretty sure you're not gonna understand what I'm saying. If you do, then that's great. If if not, then just be careful when you subscribe. You just go click subscribe once. That's all. Don't click it twice, unless you wanna subscribe to everyone in their channel box, obviously. But yeah, this gameplay is coming towards an end. I will go 54 and 4. For all you KD fanatics, I'm sure you'll be very happy. I'm just happy to get over 50 kills in domination and with one capture, I believe, and a few defense. I'll catch you next time. Laters, and make sure, make sure you spread peanut butter on your toast in the morning. Alright? Laters.